every shot almost. He can't play with his mind in that state. And when his brother, Kevin Durant, said, I don't like none of this. He's not saying he don't like the movie. He's not liking what you're doing to a man who wasn't doing nothing against you but searching for greater knowledge. And you decided to break him. You decided to put fear into men like Charles Bogley and LeBron James and other black men who had become rich and powerful. You wanted to say you were saying to them as you were lynching Kyrie, you all better get the point. You all better get the message. They don't want you rising up into that knowledge that will make you a real man and not a glorified punk. I'm saying to the ADL, sir, we, we know you. And we know that we know you, and you know that we know you. Don't talk to Kyrie by himself. He can go and look at the uh, horror of the Holocaust. Why don't you come and look at the horror of what your parents have done to black people in America and throughout the world? Why don't you come and study and repent of your evil to us, then maybe we can sit down and have a talk like civilized human beings. Yeah, Ye is not a hater. Ye is a lover. Kyrie is the same. But he wants to stand on a principle. And you see him standing, how intelligent he, are, he is, and the media keeps running at him. With, why, don't, why don't you say you apologize for this anti-Semitism? You did the same thing to me. I've tried to have meetings with you. Let's dialogue about this. You don't want to dialogue with me. You want to dialogue with somebody that you know you can put down because of the power you have over them by giving them a contract and money that you can take from them if they say or do anything that you don't like. This is the day of judgment and justice. These men don't want to be against you. These men are grateful. You brought them out of college and high school and gave them a contract. You gave them a contract because you saw their talent. 